Bean Soup Times is on a mission to create dope content that entertains, educates, and empowers the black community. We keep our ear to the ground. We ask, we report to you. We help black people to share their message. We promote real dialogue. We provide a platform to help give voice to the voiceless. We educate you on how to shop smart. Our passion is to inform you about black events, businesses, organizations, and entertainers. We are black owned. We are black Chicago. We are the award winning Being Sue Times. Sean Michelle's Homemade Ice Cream is the only place to go when the ladies crave delicious old-fashioned homemade ice cream. Their vanilla tastes just like Grandma used to make it. With over 35 flavors, all made with the freshest ingredients, Kathy has never had banana pudding ice cream this good. It's homemade ice cream the way you remember, and Sean Michelle's doesn't upset your stomach. Enjoy in store or take it to go. Sean Michelle's, fall in love again. First time customers, buy one, get one free. My name is Dolphin Norris. I'm one of the owners of Dan's Soul Food and Cafe, located at 2523 West 79th Street. Best in the Midwest. My partner is my mother. She's the oldest, wisest living person I know. She can look at her food and tell you if it's right or wrong. She wants three things. She wants her food to be good, she wants her place to be clean, and she wants excellent customer service. Well, we've been surviving the pandemic better than ever. And we've shut down the sit-down part. However, our carry-out, Uber Eats, and DoorDash has been up about 20, 30%. So, but the main thing is that we're servicing people correctly, making sure they got good food at a good price, and they're comfortable with it, and they know that our place is clean. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Adeline Bracey, the Mississippi Queen. I have been in this neighborhood for 46 joyful years. And I've been coming to Dan Soul Food because his food is so good, I closed my restaurant to start eating here. <laughs> and I'm here today because of the $6 holler. <laughs> that this chicken is so succulent. Mm, I mean, tender, juicy, and the flavor, oh my goodness. You, hey people, if you haven't been here, you must. It is a must if you live in the city of Chicago especially on the south side. But if your car travels to the suburbs or wherever, come into the city, enjoy Dan's soul food and bakery, and tell them, I told you so. My name is Adeline Bracey, and I approve this message. <laughs> Hi, my name is Linda Hardison, and I've been coming to Dan's soul food for years on top of years. Listen, this is the place to come when you want some soul. White folks, if y'all don't have no soul, come on down. You're going to get it here, I promise you. If you don't get it in your wiggle, you'll get it in your plate. <laughs> just kidding. But this is good food, and we just want to thank our sister for being here for so long. She's a staple in our community, and we just thank you for that, sister. All right, y'all, have a blessed one. Come on down and eat a damn soul food. Greetings, greetings, greetings. What's up, my brothers and my sisters? This is your brother, your friend, Tori Muhammad. And I'm so excited to be here with you for another issue, another edition of the Tori Muhammad Show. Um, Y'all see how we're doing it, man. We got to give some love to our supporters, our sponsors, our advertisers. And uh, that's how we kick the show off. Um, we are, we got a couple of people coming on today. And uh, we're excited about having them on. I'm doing a post real quick. And this post, let me see if I can read it. Uh, but this is what my thought is, my, my word for today, right? And maybe this word can be of benefit and of value to you as well. Um, <clears throat> when we face difficulty, we struggle. We are forced to turn to the one God for help. On him alone must we rely. That's study guide number three from overcoming difficulty, 
by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. So, man, I hope that resonates with you. I hope that there's something there that you get from that, as I did. Peace. Tawana. Tawana Robinson. Good afternoon, my sister. Hope you are doing well today. Uh, this is a wonderful day to be alive, to be on the top side of the earth, and we appreciate you for tuning in. We got some great guests that we're going to be uh, talking to in just a minute. And uh, as always, man, we... You know, we're going to be promoting some great food. We have uh, our guest coming on today is Dan Soul Food in the Cafe, an incredible uh, brother, incredible business. They've been around for 30 years, almost. I think it's 29. We're coming up on 29 years that they have been in business. So it's absolutely amazing uh, to be, you know, to share in that history with them. Everybody, every customer, every client that has been um, on the show with them shares in their in their excitement, shares in their ability, uh, an incredible ability to bring some amazing food to the south side of Chicago. I don't know what's going on over there. Oh, I got a, uh, I know what that is. So, uh, brothers and sisters, man, we're excited. We're thankful. We're pleased. We're gonna have a special guest coming on today too. Uh, so we're gonna get uh, rolling with those people in just a minute. So uh, before we do that, of course, uh, we did a couple of people you saw, uh, but we also want to shout out a very strong uh, supporter is Brown Sugar Bakery, right? Who has been, uh, we've been in business with, working with them for a, a long time now. So we appreciate and we value them. And then we also want to thank, uh, do a shout out to Sissy's Taco Bar. Uh, there are a, this is a new business. Uh, has some incredible authentic tacos and they are doing pop-ups right now throughout the city looking for some locations to do more pop-ups whether it's uh, an event space or something similar like that then uh you know that's a great place for you to come uh, i mean it's great it's a great business for you to have in your location if you're up and running business that can support you know some food being in there or maybe an event space so that's what we're talking about, uh, these incredible businesses, man, that we love and appreciate. And as we get ready for our, well, our one guest to come on, we have a surprise guest for you all today uh, who is going to be talking about some, as always, anytime I talk to this uh, sister, we, you know, we chop it up uh, about things that matter, things that are important, Black-owned businesses, what can we be doing to help support them more? How can we create some, some excitement and, and uh, energy around it? So we're gonna talk to her about some things and some initiatives that she's doing um, and continues to do. And so let's bring her on. With no further ado, we have Cassie O'Hara. Man, I'm doing great, how you doing? I'm doing awesome, thank you. Man, it's a pleasure to have you on as always. Always good yes, to talk to you. I apologize, I'm not as well lit as I would like to be, you know, but I'm I, I here. I but, but listen, we're gonna we're gonna be very transparent. Man, she was not intended to be on right now, and I called her at the last minute, and like a true G, a true soldier, she popped on. So we okay. Uh, it just looks like you get the soft yeah. light, like the, the filter effect <laughs> of soft lighting. So you good. <laughs> oh, right. The sepia, the sepia filter <laughs> effect. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, so what's been going on with you? I know we just came off the heels of a great um, Black, Buy Black Weekend event uh, that you yes. experienced and organized and you know, shout out for it being what the in the, the sixth year of doing it, where yeah. you know, working with you and the, and the, from the Ujima markets to man, from really, really, we're talking about since Justice or Else 10, 10, 15. Man, right? come on, yeah. you know, that we've been doing putting the buy in Black Friday for buy mm -hmm. Black Friday. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, 
Absolutely, man. You know, it's just wonderful. So yeah, we're coming off of by Black Friday, which of course happens during the whole Thanksgiving weekend, uh, where we were able to virtually, you know, make an adjustment than, you know, usual, you know, normally when we do our by Black Friday events, you know, we got 50 vendors and one showroom um, showcasing all their gifts and wares that are perfect for the holiday season. Um, but we had to do it virtually this year. And so we were able to interview all these different business owners. And it was really awesome because we got a chance to get creative. And then, you know, actually it helped us take it to the next level where you start thinking, you know, home shopping network. But you know what? It's it's the Black Mall Shopping Network or the TBM Shopping Network where we're showcasing black owned businesses. And we got a chance to interview them just like this and them showcase their business, their products and services, and people were able to purchase right then and there. So it was great. I loved it. So it's now something we're just going to have a part of our um, services that we provide, you know, through the suite of the Black Mall. And, you know, thanks to our team members and our whole Buy Black group that we got with you, Tori, and Bean Soup Times, and everybody else that's a part. So it's awesome. And, um, and now... We are now in the Kwanzaa season and um, within the Kwanzaa season, we of course had some amazing events, but we got our TBM awards that we had to move from Buy Black Weekend just due to time and we put it inside of Kwanzaa. And we're going to be, we're going to be awarding the best in black business. And of course, Bean Soup Times, what is this? The third, fourth time that you've been nominated, um, you've won <laughs> twice for um, um, a TBM award and you're in the best marketing and graphics category. So we want everybody to keep voting um, so that we can then announce our winners on Sunday, the 27th. Yep, absolutely. And, you know, I'm always humbled. I'm appreciative and thankful. And um, it's always a incredible group that's in that same nomination category. People that I, you know, really love, respect and admire. So, you know, whoever wins is, is definitely is well deserved. Uh, yes. but you, know, you know, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. Let me see if I can reach it. Yes. Uh, I can't reach it. I can't reach it, but I got I got my two right there. Come on. I, I would appreciate a third one right there next to it now. Yes. <laughs> but oh, you boy. it's in our intro too. I put it in our intro. Um for the for the show, so you got to see it. I'm, I'm gonna play it again so you can see it. Yeah, please, 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 please. I'm trying to get ready. <laughs> yep. Yes. So, yes. You know, this is. I love that you do this. This is so important for us because sometimes you know we we suffer from not being validated. Yes. Right. And whether it's an individual, whether it's a community, right? People can suffer from that. And when we don't get it from home, right? This is why the streets call so many young black men and women to the streets, yeah. right? Yeah. They give the validation and love at home so they go outside and get it from the wrong sources. So yeah. we appreciate you creating something where we can get validated at home with our own people. Um, you know, I, you know, no, I ain't hating on the Grammys and, you know, the bigger boy. No, we want those too now. You give me those. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, to do it at home, you know, it's so important to start yeah. with self love, and then you can accept love from other people without distorting your perspective of yourself. Yeah, 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 absolutely. That's what it's all about. It's about us celebrating and awarding our amazing black owned businesses and all of these categories, because we do, we need to make sure that we are making ourselves feeling good and knowing that, that our um, acknowledgement is just as important as the acknowledgement that comes from a Grammy or an Emmy or a Tony. All, the, all those are, are a group of people that decided to say, hey, we want to start nominating and honoring these particular, you know, categories or industries. And they validated themselves. And then they made it popular and then we validated their own self validation. So it starts with us. It starts with us doing it for ourselves. And then more people start to, you know, 
find out about that and they're like, oh, wow, wait a minute. And they take notice of what we're putting out there. So I really love it because we get a chance to not only honor these businesses, but it shines a light on them even further so that they can grow and then become the inspiration for more black owned businesses to develop and become the uh, standard of excellence. That's right. That's you absolutely right. So listen, you know, this show is being aired on our Black Chicago Eats page uh, because our guest that's coming on shortly is a black owned restaurant, dance, soul yeah. food and cafe. So but until he comes on, um, I know there's a food category that yes. you have in the awards. And then I want you to tell us some of your favorite black owned places to eat. Whoa. Wow. OK. So, yeah. So, of course, uh, we're doing we're only doing 10 categories for the virtual version of TV Awards. Um, uh, normally we have, I think, close to 30 <laughs> for nominees each. So 10 categories. That means we got 40 businesses. And of course, best food and restaurant is one of the categories. And um, in there, we got Truth Italian that's been nominated, uh, Batter and Berries, Sean Michelle's and Oh my God, what is wrong with me? I, for whatever reason, it's slipping my, my mind that fourth um, nominee. Um, but what are my favorites? My favorites. It's hard. I don't want. That is really, really hard because <laughs> this is my one of our littlest. In the family, Jane. <laughs> she, she's going to start her own YouTube channel. So she's getting um, some practice there right, right now. Right. So for the camera. Um, yeah. But some of my favorite uh, black owned restaurants, man, at, Better and Berries is up there, man. They are high on that list. You just can't beat their breakfast. You cannot beat that. Those, those really creative like waffles that they're making, they, the, the cluck and goof where they infuse the chicken inside oh, of the waffles. Right. And, man, it's crazy. They got the special, I think it's like a um, cinnamon um, flavor inside of there too. It's it's crazy good. They make their own butter. They just did a picture of an eggnog French toast. Man, man, what's up, Sip? So then you got, oh, no, and no. The, the, fourth, the fourth nominee is Hidden Manor. And I don't know how the oh, hidden manor is a real hidden gem in the food category and restaurant business and black owned businesses, especially in the Chicago land area. That food yeah. crazy good. And so they got they do like a Cajun um Creole uh blend of different options. It's so well good. So Hidden Manor, actually, the four nominees are some of my four favorites. Truth Italian is excellent. You go there for the vibe. They got some great pasta dishes there that I love. You know, we usually go with kind of like a big roof when you're going to um, Truth Italian for whatever reason. It just feels, it's one of those type of vibes. Like you want to go there and you want to party. So they're just going to treat you good. They got great drinks as well. Um, let me see. Who else do I love? I love some of our vegan restaurants, too. You got to shout out to Soul Veg and Majani um, and B-Gabs. Those are some of those are just a few. I, you know, having a directory and all these businesses, yeah, I know. it's real hard for me to kind of like narrow down because I could just start rattling off all these different, you know, businesses. And it's just like, and I like this, I like this dish from that place. And I like that dish from another place. So, you know, they're, they're, they're all yeah. really, really amazing. I know. I get, I get you. I get the same thing. And it's, but you know, but you, we expressing, you expressing the, the joy and the beauty of it too, because you know, it's it's not a large group, but there's still a small group of folks who think that we're not providing black excellence in our businesses. Man. And when you can just talk all day, we could talk for a couple of days about yeah. the plethora of amazing black owned businesses and restaurants and food spots. I mean, you know, you got your choices. You got you got some, some amazing choices. Really um, and shout out to Talib, Talib. Uh, brother, came in and gave some love, man. We appreciate him. He's always and moving. 
The same yeah, token movement. For his work and diligence and support of our people. Exactly, exactly. We got we catch your spirits with you, brother. Yeah, uh, we appreciate what you do. And then, uh, man, we call it Sybil, man. We can, we're both of them. We got to get y'all them on the show. Sybil, Sybil is, is just, uh, let me, I'm going to say this in the best way. She a monster in this community when it She's comes to like, support Black-owned businesses and the, the high level and high quality events that she puts together to be able to support. Like, she curates only the finest. Black owned businesses when she puts something together. So, you know, like when you're talking about people don't think that we have quality and excellent businesses out there, they are definitely there. And Sib is definitely, she, if she's doing it, honey, be ready. Be, be ready. ready. Wow. Right. You, okay. you expecting and know it's going to be top notch excellent. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, and that's what we, that's why we put together this site because we realize, you know, we can't just try to push people into, you gotta buy black, you know, the support aspect of, you know, black economic empowerment starts to wear off at some point, right? And, you know, it, it, there has to be, you know, uh, an actual exchange here where it's like, okay, I'm coming to these black businesses because they have something that I need and that I want, and I am going to get, you know, good service out of it. Are they all perfect? No, but just like any other major business, we encourage you to give them feedback, just like you would a customer service, where you would go to the customer service department at Target or Walmart. But that's why we started this business, because we wanted to showcase, man, they are, they have, mm -hmm. there are amazing businesses out here, and we just got to show it to you all. Just see yep. it. Hear the right. images. Hear the video. Here's the examples. Here's what I purchased. Here's what somebody else purchased and what they thought about it. So that the more we talk about it, and again, as we say, celebrate it, then the more people will be able to be like, okay, I never even knew that existed. Let me go check it out. And then, then they get that experience too. And thank you, Chris, <laughs> for the, for that that much love. We give thanks. Yep. We give thanks to God for just walking yep. in on purpose. So thank so, you. So man, you're hitting on something that's so key. And and you know, I'm always trying to to deconstruct how things happen and who's where and who's doing what. And I think you have some of this background. And there are a few other people in our space who have a similar background. See, promoting events and parties and that in that world, I think yeah. that's something that all of us can learn from that because if it's a dope party, it's it's just a dope party. You're not saying come to my party because it's a black party or it's gonna be it's right. black. It's just hey, this this is what's happening right now. This is where this is where you need to be if you are anybody or somebody. And that's the same yeah. thing you're saying that we have to. That's how we gotta look at it. And then if you say at the end, and it's black on, then that's that's just the icing on the cake. That's, we yes. just need to do that because we are what's happening. We we drive the you know the economy. We are the hip and cool anyway. So you need to be doing what we're doing. Follow us. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. We just gotta make you know right. We're making it popular. We're making it, you know, making people want to go and check these places out. Man, you know, it's lit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Because hey, you know, the reality is at the yeah. end, when it's all said and done, it's probably three or four different types of people, right? You got the straightforward people that's gonna do it because it just makes sense. You got the people that's going to do it because they want to be with the winning group. You got yeah. the people that's going to do it because they want to help people, right? Yeah. And then you got people going to do it just because it's fun. Yeah. And black folks, most, a lot of us just, <laughs> if it's fun, a lot of us go in that category. <laughs> Above me, I, be <laughs> I know this is going to be boring. Like, it's gonna be boring. <laughs> Yeah. Right, we ain't going. Especially in a place like you, I ain't going. You know, especially in a city like Chicago, when there's so much competition out there. You know, it's 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 hard to get black people in Chicago to RSVP for something that's a month out. Because all they're thinking is something else might come up. <laughs> That right. might be better. I don't want to commit. Like that's like trying to ask somebody to marry you, and you just met them. They're like, mm. 
I'll hit the RSVP button a week out. Because at that point, there might not be anything else going on that's going right. to happen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I think on our websites. You talking about our websites? Oh, nice. Absolutely. So the blackmall.com. Yes. Right. I I'll throw it up in there. I gotta kind of I gotta navigate a little bit, but I'll throw them all up in there for sure. Okay, hold on. I might I can, do it. I can do it. I got you. You got it. All right, cool, cool, cool. She said put put them both up in there. So share, you know, black Chicago eats. It's the black mall, right? Or the black mall and the, the blackmall.com. Yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is awesome. Yep. So there we go. Hey. Shoot, and Sid, man, it's all them. I mean, I, she's just such a wonderful person. Appreciate yes. it. So, um, all right, there we go. And Talib wants to come on his show too. Hey, that's what's Man, up. Always be on it, brother. Always, always. <laughs> yep. So, what's next? Um, of course, the TVM Awards um, and the, the Black, the, the online shopping piece you're going to do, right? Was there something else? It's, you, it's something else you got going on, too, right? Uh, well, just Kwanzaa in general. So, every oh, day that's right, that's during right. Kwanzaa, we will be um, streaming live. There's a whole big group, you know, Kwanzaa is always a collective thing, you know. Um, there's a whole big group of organizers that have come together to put together Kwanzaa. And if you go to theblackmall.com, you can click on our Kwanzaa banner. And every day at 4 p.m., we're going to have the official candle lighting ceremony, libation, and depending on what the day is, you know, each day of Kwanzaa has a different principle, you know, so Mojo would be about unity. And so there's a different, there's a uh, either presentation, production, event that's centered around that particular principle. So each day mm -hmm. you'll be able to see a presentation, you know, that'll have entertainment, and education and speakers and vendors and all those great things that'll be a part of it each and every day. So definitely come join in watch it live share with people you know and and enjoying the in the kwanzaa you know spirit and holiday season even though we can't necessarily you know all touch and agree you know in large numbers so this is how we are um going to celebrate this particular year so i'm super excited about it and see how that kind of turns out as well so yeah. Yep. yep. It's definitely different, but you know, it's it's the next best thing to be in there is the video, and yeah. um, nobody can can still stay safe and and luckily we have all this infrastructure in place. Imagine yeah. if we were going through this pandemic twenty years ago. Oh my God. Woo! Right. It is. Oh my man, God. That have that would be way way more tough because right, all we would have had is you know just seeing each other in person so then people really would have been isolated and yeah i mean i mean it, it happened a hundred years ago exactly it did so it's almost like man yeah what did they do if you know it might be cool to kind of like see if we can find out as much more information as we can on like what did they do back then and how did they get through it because i really think that they said it was from um 1918 to like 1921 it was. It was about three years. What was it? The Spanish influenza or something like that? Yeah. 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 It, it yeah. was. Wear mask and, and everything. The masks were just like the, the surgical mask. That was that was real eerie to see those. Yeah. Things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. What did they do? How did they get through it? So. Yeah. You, you know, know. Well, people stayed at home a lot more back then, too. <laughs> they did. They did. You know, very oh, rarely yeah. out in large groups. You know, people weren't you know, there wasn't so many houses per, you know, block, even if, you know, there were blocks at that point. But, yeah, just definitely not as many people, you know, live amongst each other like we do now. Right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So give us a little bit. Um, um, Give us, you know, you're, you're talking about, it, of course, just give the. Of what the is and, you know, how. We all have been working in this space to get people to support quality black owned businesses. 
Yeah, so the Black Mall is an aggregate of Black-owned businesses to help promote, um, to promote them, to sell, to help them with selling their products, um, and to give them business support. And then we are on the we're we're at the beginning stages of putting together our fulfillment center. So we'll be like a Black-owned Amazon fulfillment center. So. Um, and we we accomplish all of this through our um, online directory. So like think like Yellow Pages or Google, where you can go to our website and just go to the directory and just find black owned businesses throughout the entire nation, not just Chicago, but the whole nation in all categories. Then we have our marketplace where we have vendors um, are putting their products up there. So and we are. Um, our whole purpose is to actually really highlight the brand themselves or the vendor. So we're going to, we're setting ourselves apart from other um, sites that are similar to ours, where we're going to actually pushing the brand first. So we want to be making Louis Gucci Prada, but we want you to be thinking about um, mm -hmm. uh, Donny Day Creations and the Crafty Check and Dope and remembering those brands as the brands for that are coming out of our, our communities. So um, you could go there, you could find your products, you could find great gifts. Uh-oh. Um, accessories, um, necessities, all those great things. Um, we have a, a storefront that we're getting remodeled as well, where you'll see some of those products being um, shown in store. And like I said, the fulfillment center is coming. And then we do, we help with business development. So with, um, we're launching our TBM Academy. We're so if people need help with their business plans, with marketing, teaming up with being two times um, and WDB marketing and red level, all nominees, <laughs> TBM awards, but teaming up with them to help out and other and financial accountants and, um, legal uh, representation so that you can develop your business and be able to grow to capacity because the more our businesses grow, the better our communities can become because we'll be able to have the infrastructure in place to be able to provide the employment that we need to provide to our own communities and to be able to then have um, a funding source for when we need funds for our schools and our churches and our community centers or mm -hmm. when it's time to uh, to elect a new politician, not only are we supporting them with our votes, we're supporting them with our dollars because our businesses are formidable and can be able to help contribute to that. Man, that's so key. Yeah. I love it. Excellent vision. <laughs> um, definitely happy to be a partner and supporter and yes. for this big vision of, man, really helping to strengthen our communities and make every part of our neighborhoods uh, decent and safe places to live. Yes. Um, something that you highlighted where well, everything you, I love, but there was one thing I wanted to comment on, which I think is so critical. We, we were the people at different stages of history that took Louis Vuitton to another level. Come on. Took Gucci to another level. Yes. We took Seagram's Den to another level, right? It, all this, everybody, every rap artist that put a, Adidas, right? And, we we sometimes as children seeing it thought that this was a high brand that we would just give an acknowledgement to but didn't realize in some cases those bland brands were struggling yeah and our boots took it to the next level yes right it, we, our agreement made it a bigger bigger brand than it actually was so to do that to our own businesses right to do that for ourselves we really haven't done it in recent times since Carl Kanai and FUBU and, you know, it's been a couple of right. Carol's door. It's been a couple that, you know, have come in there, but man, we could do this in droves when we yeah. have places that can identify companies that can identify the best of the best. Right. And then we, we boost them up to the next level because they already producing quality. People just don't know about it. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I love it. I love it. We got it right here. Yeah, we got it all. We got everything that we need right in house. We just got to yes. appreciate and celebrate each other. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, man, we appreciate you. Look, look, 
I don't know what happened to my other guests. Dan Soul Food, he must be, they must be frying some chicken. Oh, up. Dan. <laughs> you he know must be, Dan is out there working and humping. Look, he's one of yeah. those, he's one of those, those, if you don't know, you just think that he got a, a soul food restaurant, but you don't understand how his mind thinks about community development. He's a he's vegan. Right. Even though he's selling soul food, he but, you know, he, he they he makes sure all the vegetables and stuff is clean and yes. man, just excellent all the way around. But the community development things that he's been promoting and pushing, we were going to talk about that. But we're going to get him back on. Uh, but he man, he's doing some incredible stuff. Uh, and creating some change. Man. He definitely is. I, I love Dan. He's such a great mentor um, in our community. Um he, uh, like you said, that community development piece is really strong with him. You know, he's big on making sure that you, what does he say? He says, uh, wear what you sow, um, grow, eat what you grow and buy where you live. Right. Yeah. Those yeah, that's are, it. Those that's are, it. <laughs> that is so strong and it makes so much sense because that's how we develop ourselves. You know, when, you know, if we're allowing everyone else to make clothes for us, to provide food to us, to be the businesses in our, in our own communities, then what are we developing and how are we bringing wealth to our own communities? If we're farming it out, then we're only a consumer. So how do we get that recycled back to us? You know, Tori, we we've, we've done this demonstration. You have an amazing demonstration on what it physically looks like to recycle the black dollar. And you do this awesome demonstration where people get in a circle and then different people represent different businesses and then we can see how it floats out of the community simply by having, you know, businesses that are from people who don't reside in our community mm -hmm. and don't put back into our community. So yeah. it like literally showcases how it bankrupts us. And, and Dolphin is all about making sure that we are doing what we need to do in the simplest fashion to maintain those dollars being recycled. That's right. That's right. He sure is, man. Carlton Purnell. Shout What's out to the podcast. The podcast the building. Divas. Man, we can't wait. I can't wait to get me uh, uh, one of them cakes and a pie and some some other food from him uh, with his new spot that he's uh, you know yes. giving me to open up right I'm on the three house that day. Right, right. <laughs> hey, so look, we're gonna do. I want to show this quick uh, commercial with Dan Soul Food, and then uh, and then I'm gonna show you the intro so you can see how we how you you in my intro. I don't know if you know that. I represent you represent it every time we do a show. <laughs> so, hold on. Dan, watch Dan. My name is Dolphin Norris. I'm one of the owners of Dan's Soul Food and Cafe, located at 2523 West 79th Street. Best in the Midwest. My partner is my mother. She's the oldest, wisest living person I know. She can look at her food and tell you if it's right or wrong. She wants three things. She wants her food to be good. She wants her place to be clean, and she wants excellent customer service. Well, we've been surviving the pandemic better than ever. As we've shut down the sit-down part. However, our carry-out, Uber Eats, and DoorDash has been up about 20, 30%. So, but the main thing is that we're servicing people correctly, making sure they got good food at a good price, and they're comfortable with it, and they know that our place is clean. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Adeline Bracey, the Mississippi Queen. I have been in this neighborhood for 46 joyful years, and I've been coming to Dan Soul Food because his food is so good, I closed my restaurant to start eating here. <laughs> and I'm here today because of the $6 holla. That this chicken is so succulent. Mm, I mean, tender, juicy. And the flavor, oh my goodness. You, hey people, if you haven't been here, you must. It is a must if you live in the city of Chicago, especially on the south side. But if your car travels to the suburbs or wherever, come into the city, enjoy dance, soul food, and bakery. And tell them, I told you so. My name is Adeline Bracy, and I approve this message. <laughs> Hi, my name is Linda Hardison. 
and I've been coming to Dan Soul Food for years on top of years. Listen, this is the place to come when you want some soul. White folks, if y'all don't have no soul, come on down. You're going to get it here, I promise you. If you don't get it in your wiggle, you'll get it in your plate. <laughs> just kidding. But this is good food, and we just want to thank our sister for being here for so long. She's a staple in our community, and we just thank you for that, sister. All right, y'all, have a blessed one. Come on down and eat a damn soul food. Bean Soup Times is on a mission to create dope content that entertains, educates, and empowers the black community. We keep our ear to the ground, we ask, we report to you. We help black people to share their message. We promote real dialogue. We provide a platform to help give voice to the voiceless. We educate you on how to shop smart. Our passion is to inform you about black events, businesses, organizations and entertainers we are black owned we are black chicago we are the award-winning being sue times Quick, we started that. You actually had four hits in there. <laughs> I know. I was like, wait, we getting there a few times. Right, what right. Love. <laughs> Give thanks. Thank so, you. Yes, that's, I, I've seen it before, but I didn't realize that it was a part of your intro. I saw it on like on, from the website YouTube. Right, right. Well, that's where it started. And I said, wait a minute, this is my this is my intro. Yeah. Yep. So that's what's it. up, man. It's, we, we, man, we a family and we can't do it by ourselves. And the more people that see, man, a team and see a group, I don't know, it's something about following the crowd. When it's a big group, boy, you, 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 you want to see what's going on, what's happening with that group. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure it's the right group, boy. You know? Man. <laughs> you, got group. Right. you got that right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Hey, I got a comment though on Dad's commercial. I love it. Them ladies are the best in the whole wide world. And they got. Uh, she said she closed down her own restaurant. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> now that's love. <laughs> Man. You know that feel good. You like. You know what? I don't even need mine no more. We everybody, right. all my customers. We going over the dance so Meet me over here. Right, that's right. And yes. of course, he was, he was referring to his mother. As, as the video says, he calls it with his mother. They put it together. Yeah. He he do the, the infrastructure and the business side, and she makes sure the food is right. Yeah. Uh, that's an incredible, wonderful combination. <laughs> we went by there a couple of weeks ago, and I just loved it. They got a – they're, they're – the way that they've adjusted for COVID um, yes. on the line is really great. It's, it's perfect, great. isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Come in there and get it to go and keep moving. Right. They got a nice little line, little area. It's, it's, they, they, they worked it. They worked it very yeah. well. Yeah. You can get some buffet food that's right there, ready to go. Get yourself a drink and a dessert. That's right. <laughs> and you good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the six dollars? Yep. Come on right. now. Man, that six dollar holler. Woo. That can yeah. that can that can that can be a good meal. Uh you can man, you can feed you can feed uh 50 people. Come on. <laughs> I got y'all. It's on me. Right. And it's still it's it's still under three hundred dollars. You can right. feed 50 people. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh man, that's so awesome. So man, we appreciate you coming on and sharing some time with us. And um, as always, man, we encourage you to keep moving, keep rocking. Man, give your co-founder, Dre Meekins, my love, my bro. Yes. Um, I saw you post that fresh cut he got. I was a little jealous. Ah! Was a little... <laughs> you know, I go to barber shops. They know I'm selling something. They must be. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> you want to come make you a good shine. 
<laughs> right, right. You know, they didn't do that anymore. So they, they, they ain't got nothing for me. <laughs> put a little black, put a little black in my mustache, maybe. Right, right, but, right. Know, nah, I, if I, I'll do that myself. I don't need no dude getting that close to my lip. <laughs> I'm good, bro. I would, I would definitely send them, send them, send them your love, man. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So yes, thank um, you for having me again. I love it. Thank you. you. Man, thank you for being on point. Because you know, look, I, you know, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. So I said, I called Casey two minutes to one. Right. <laughs> what you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Are you camera ready? See, I know what to have. <laughs> Uh, no, but I can get ready. Right. You said I knew exactly what to ask. You straight to the point. You camera ready right now. Yeah. yeah. You, you can determine all what that meant with just that one question. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. I truly yeah. appreciate it, man. Absolutely. With me in touch and keep rocking. All right, you too. Peace all right. everybody. Close out with my last few uh, commercial and then we gone. So we appreciate y'all and we love y'all for watching the show and keep tuning in. We got another show coming on tomorrow. We're going to have Dan might be back on tomorrow. And we're also going to have um, uh, Ooh We Sweet Tea is going to be on. Ooh We Sweet Tea founder um, Mark Walker, he's going to be on. And he's also going to be talking about his new restaurant, Ooh We It Is. So we're going to ask him why he got that name, Ooh We. So, but we're going to close out with our uh, last supporters and sponsors and advertisers. And, uh, and then we'll see you all for the next show. Peace. Sean Michelle's, of course, you know, we love and appreciate them. Fall in love again, right there on 47th Street. And again, Dan Soul Food and Cafe, where every day is Thanksgiving. We appreciate and love them. Brown Sugar Bakery, dangerously delicious. I want y'all to check out the Black Muslim Business Directory where conduct, integrity, and innovation matter. And then Sissy's Taco Bar with authentic street tacos. They're doing pop-ups, looking for another place to do a pop-up. So if you know of one, let us know. And then we